in this story, there are a bit of requirements. So, first off, you're a stalker, and you're in one aim. You basically follow Monoma till he gets home every day, you follow him to school, you're always on his tail. He doesn't know that though. In class, you're the quiet one. You're not a yandere though, you just enjoy following the people you admire the most. Honestly, you're really just the most introverted slash shyest person alive. You're basically Komi-san. Your quirk is unnoticed. People will ignore you, basically. No one will see you and anything that you're holding or wearing. You won't be able to attract any attention, although your quirk requires you to hold your breath for as long as you can. Once you inhale, your quirk will deactivate. February 14th, After School Monoma's POV. Today I've been given a lot of gifts by a so-called secret admirer. Kendo's brought me. Kendo's been bugging me about it the whole day, and I've never actually looked forward to the day where she become more annoying than I am. Whoever this person is, they must be rich. They leave gifts everywhere before I was even able to notice. Earlier at lunch, I went to the comfort room, and once I came back, there were dozens of chocolates piled up on my seat. The thing is, Kendo and the others were right there. There's no way they couldn't have noticed them. No one in my class has a teleportation quirk, so I'm guessing the secret admirer it must be from a different class. My plan is to reveal whoever they are by the end of the day. But the problem is that school has already ended, and the only information that I have gathered is that they can leave gifts unnoticed. It sure can't be that invisible girl. She was with her friends this whole time. I need to learn more about the other class's quirks. I swear, if it's a 1A, I'm gonna wheeze. Me accepting gifts from a 1A? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'll ask Kendo and Tetsu to ask their 1A friends if they know anything. February 14th, 6 o'clock p.m., your POV. I would normally follow Monoma until he gets home, but today is strange. I think he's suspicious of me. He's been looking back for 15 minutes now, and honestly, immediately holding my breath is starting to get super upsetting. That was when he stopped walking. Look, I know there's someone behind me. He sighed. So, show yourself, will you not? I bet you're tired. He said as a small chuckle escaped his mouth. I was hesitant for a second. I mean, I could just run away. Yeah, I should run. Then again, he's not completely convinced that I'm following him, is he? I just made a huge mistake of contemplating instead of looking for a hiding spot. Monoma turned around, and he doesn't seem like he'll be looking away anytime soon. I impulsively held my breath. I looked to the left. There was nowhere to hide. I looked to the right. Still nowhere. I need to run. I turned around and began to pick up my pace, but ended up tripping. I was again spottable, as I lied on the ground exhausted. Oh, it was you. Monoma asked as he approached me and crouched down. He helped me get back up on my feet as I dusted off my uniform. Oh, which class are you from again? I've never seen you before. He never was mindful of my existence anyway, but that's a good thing. If he finds out I'm from 1A, he's probably gonna laugh at me. What do I say? Should I make a run for it? I froze in place as my legs began to shiver. I've never been fond of conversation. No, never. Did you hear me? He locked eyes with mine. Oh no, this is bad. This isn't what was supposed to happen. You. You're from class 1A, aren't you? I wanted to shake my head, but lying will just cause more commotion. Looking down, I nodded in a sad manner. There was an awkward silence after that. I bet he left already. Well, I told myself that I'd laugh if it ended up being a 1A, but I never knew you anyway, and you don't seem like a stalker. I guess it would be inconsiderate to laugh at you, right? His sweat dropped. Does that mean y you're not gonna scoff at me? I finally spoke. His eyes widened. 
Oh, seems like you can talk. No, I guess you're not like the others. I've barely seen you. And I guess I shouldn't be insensitive since you put this much effort into getting gifts for me. He smirked. Others always see Monoma as the arrogant and nosy 1B boy. I knew he had this side of him, but I never expected that he'd reveal it to me out in the open, out of all people. Thanks, I guess. He scratched his head. It's getting super late though. Can I have your number? I nodded as we exchanged numbers. That's when we finally parted ways. February 14th, 9 o'clock p.m. Your POV. I was reading a book silently, glancing at my phone every now and then. I'm starting to think he hates me now. Why would he waste his precious time calling a 1A? Stupid. My eyes immediately land on my phone. Unknown. Uh, I forgot to ask for your name. Sorry about that. Recipient's nickname set to Monoma. You. No, it's totally fine. I'm Wayan Ellen. Please call me Wayan. It's easier to tell what you're trying to convey through message. Anyway, you can call me Nato if you want. Sorry about that. I've gotten used to avoiding communication. It's kind of hard. You shouldn't be sorry though. It's not bad. In fact, it's kind of cute. It wasn't long before I came to the realization that I was as red as a cherry. I also didn't notice that I'd left him on red for a while. Uh, sorry, did I fluster you? A little, yeah. I meant it's cute because you're not rude and talkative like the other one is. Well, uh, thank you, I guess. Oh, and I forgot to thank you for the gifts. I'm very grateful, thank you. It's nothing really. I just kind of put all my feelings into it, nothing special. That is kind of special. Is it? Never mind. Anyway, you wanna hang out tomorrow after school? He's kidding, right? He just met me and he's already, he's already willing to put up with me. He probably pities me. Yeah, that's probably it. If you're fine with it, you don't have to force yourself to like me though. I understand anyway. Uh, so you're that type of person. Huh? No, I'm not forcing myself to like you. I do like you, because you're the exact opposite of how I picture a Winnie. Hopefully that isn't too confusing. <laughs> no, 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 it's fine, I understand. It's getting late, you should go to bed. I don't usually go to sleep at 9pm though. Oh, what time do you go to sleep then? 1am? S-L-E-E-P Alright, maybe I'll sleep early, just this once. Good, good night then. And happy Valentine's Day. Okay, but let's be real. Monoma was super OOC. Like, like, tell me he was not. He was so out of, like, okay, but like this Monoma, <laughs> this Monoma can hit me up any time of the week, any time. I could be doing homework. I could be recording. I'm sorry, guys, but I could be recording and I would answer his phone call. Man, if only he was real, right? <laughs> Not me breaking my own heart. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was requested, like, you know, in the thing, like, all of my videos are usually requested. Um, but yeah, uh, okay, I'm gonna see you tomorrow. Honest, I'm probably gonna post a Levi one tomorrow, because I've been thinking about it, and I'm just like, I haven't did my little shorty in a while, you know? So, yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow, goodbye, and I love you all.